I had a history question. William Jones, Henry Thomas Colebrook, and so on and so forth, all had this conviction to encourage Sanskrit and Arabic knowledge in India. They had a belief that if we want to rule India in a better way, we have to go with their perception. Such people who wanted to encourage Sanskrit and Arabic culture were termed Orientalists. People like Thomas Babington, Macaulay, James Mill obstructed such practices and insisted that the British government stop investing money in such projects and notions. What if the Orientalists led India with their ideology? What was the scenario of India if there were no European customs? What would be the plot of the education system in today's world? Okay, thank you. Good question. So, uh, I don't know about Arabic. Arabic is not an Indian language. It doesn't have any, any, any locus standi in India. It's a foreign language. It belongs in Arabia, where it uh, should prosper. But it has no... Uh, no reason to be in India. Now, when it comes to Sanskrit, Sanskrit is the medium in which India's education has historically always been until the 19th century, when the Macaulay's and the, the English destroyed India's education system and replaced it with this colonial system. So if the Orientalists had prevailed, then India's indigenous education system would most likely have persisted and we would all be way more civilized today not westernized the, the way we are. So that's the answer in short. India would have been a much better place. I would be speaking to you in Sanskrit right now. <laughs> that's what would have happened. But as we know, Macaulay and his minions prevailed and they essentially destroyed India's education system and deracinated India. And that process still continues as of today.